Hello guys, Lifehackster here, and today we will check and test out the Weiss Lamp Socket version 2. Now, if you are not a Weiss fan or don't have or got rid of your Weiss cameras, keep on watching because this Weiss Socket version 2 can also power up any 5 volt powered Wi Fi security camera, which I'll show you later in the video. I did review and made a video of the version 1 of this a while back, and I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. But the main downside of the version 1 is that the power output is only 5 volts 1 amp, which limits the cameras that you can use with it. But this version 2 is now 2 amps. Now most of you already knows this, but plug-in Wi-Fi cameras are more reliable than battery or solar powered ones. But the main downside is finding an outlet to plug them in. And depending on the setup at your house, if you have light fixtures, then you can use this Weiss lamp socket. Now Weiss made this so as to be used with their cameras. The original version 1 can only be used on their Weiss cam version 3 and version 4 which I actually have used for a while in my front porch area. And with the version 2, it can also now power up the Weiss Cam Pan version 3, which has a 2 amp output power requirement, and also their Weiss Cam OG and their V3 Pro. Inside the box, you will get the quick start guide and the lamp socket itself. Just a note that this is not weatherproof, so the light fixture you are going to install this to needs to be protected from the elements. Also, incandescent bulbs are not recommended because of the heat limitations. This is also 120 volts only and compatible with E26 medium base bulbs. As you can see on the side right here is the USB-A port to plug in your camera's power cable. And you also get a switch sticker because this needs continuous power. So the switch needs to be on all the time. I have a better version of this which I made a video on and I will link it down below because stickers sometimes are not enough. One thing that I noticed is that this doesn't come with its own USB cable like the version 1. So this is the version 1, same size, but this came with its own USB cable that is flushed when plugged in. And I just realized that Weiss cameras still use micro USB cables. Anyways, let's set this up. Turn off the power to the light fixture you want to install this and remove the light bulb. Plug in the USB cable of your camera and I'll set this up with the Weiss Cam Pan version 3. And screw in the socket to your light fixture. Then screw back in the bulb. Turn on power, open up the Weiss app, plus sign, add device, cameras, others. We have the Weiss socket version 2. Follow the instructions and I've done all of this. Plug in your camera and my camera is already set up and we will pair the socket. Select my Wi-Fi network, 5 gigahertz is not supported and I'll install my camera just on top of the light and let's go back to the app and I can see my Weiss Cam Pan version 3 and it is now connected. So this lamp socket can only be controlled when a Weiss camera is connected to it. When I open up my Weiss Cam Pan version 3, you will see a lamp icon in live view and this is where you can manually control the light on or off. In the settings and the accessories, you are able to change the settings of the socket on how it will control the light bulb. You can connect more lamp sockets to be controlled by this camera. And you can set it that the light will turn on when it detects motion or smart motion. You can set how long it will turn on and you can schedule the time frame when this setting is on. You can also set it for the light to turn on continuously at night like dusk to dawn or in a schedule. Now time to test this. All right, so I have the Y socket version two and with a regular light bulb, a 60 watt light bulb, but on top of that will be the Weiss Cam Pan version three and I've, uh, I've set it up so that the, uh, the bulb or the socket will turn on the light whenever there's a person detected on the Weiss Cam Pan version three. And we'll see, now it's tracking me. It is in infrared night vision mode right now. And you will see the light will turn on just like that. A little bit delay on lighting up and a little bit delay in notification too. And because it is in auto night vision, I am still in uh, infrared night vision though. If you use dust to dawn, then there will be ambient lighting and you can turn off night vision to have color recording at night. Okay, I know Weiss made this V2 lamp socket for their cameras, especially for the Weiss Cam Pan version 3, but I'm not really fond of this camera. Video quality is just lacking. 
but this is the camera that went viral in TikTok and a lot of people uses this. Anyways, this version 2 of the Y socket can also power up other brands of cameras as well. So if you plug in a USB-A to USB-C cable to this, which most camera companies are now using, and just screw this in and not set it up on the Y app, the socket will provide continuous power to the USB port. So you can plug in any outdoor Wi-Fi camera that you have, including cameras that require a 5V 2 amps output, like the Eufy SoloCam E30, for example here, which is battery powered by default. But when plugged in with a 2 amp power supply, it can record continuously 24-7. The only catch with this setup is the light bulb. If you screw in a regular light bulb, then it will always be on. So what you will need is a smart bulb so that you can at least schedule when it turns on or off. In my next demo setup here, I'll use one of Tapo's new plug-in outdoor cams, which I also reviewed a few videos ago and I also will link it down below. And this is the Hybrid Cam Duo. Now, why Tapo? Well, because they also have smart bulbs, and I can easily add an automation without using third-party programs, and I can set it up that when the camera detects motion or just smart motion, let's say just person, and add an action to the den tab, and I'll choose my Tapo smart bulb to turn on. Actually, I'll choose remain on at a set time, where I can set the light to only turn on for a minute upon detecting an event, and it will turn off. And there are other settings that you can do to customize this automation. And let's test this out. All right, so we are going to test the uh, Y lamp socket and the Tapo setup. So I've set the automation that when the uh, Hybrid Cam Duo detects a person, then the uh, light will turn on. So let's check it out. There you go, that quick. And I got a notification too. That's even before the lights of the camera turns on. I know the camera has a delay in. Well, I guess it's not gonna turn on anymore because there's a light. And this is what it looks like. This version 2 of the Weiss lamp socket works pretty good. And now this can power up all of Weiss's plug-in cameras using your existing light fixture. Wise, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, also makes a bulb cam, which I also made a video on. I'll also link it down below, so you have different options. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.